have not shopped at Yes Style in years upon years. Like I'm trying to think how long it's been. It's been so long that I had a different email address. <laughs> so I had to open a new account with Yes Style to purchase anything. And wow, the website has gotten even more user friendly. I had no trouble finding the products I wanted. I had no trouble filling out my little skincare profile. I also signed up for the influencer program so that I could give you all an affiliate code with a special discount and also hopefully earn a little bit of cash myself to help me pay for all the sunscreens that I've been purchasing <laughs> recently. <laughs> So in today's haul, I have some sunscreens, I have some jewelry, I have some skincare, I have some hair products. Okay, I went a little crazy on the YesStyle website. <laughs> and I've already been trying out a couple of the products, so I'll let you know about all that. Let's start with the sunscreens first because that's mainly what this channel is about. And then if you wanna hear the rest of, see what else I got, you can watch that. And if not, you can click away, which I'm not supposed to tell you on YouTube. <laughs> oh, hi, I'm Sean. Melanoma Mom here. Join me in my mission to prevent skin cancer by subscribing to this channel and wearing sunscreen. Okay, I pulled up everything on the app. I recommend getting the Yes Style app, although I'm behind. You all probably have the Yes Style app. <laughs> I'm one of the last people to get it. Yes Style is great for Asian sunscreens. They come over. It comes over. I don't know, is it a boat, is it a plane? It goes through US Customs and it gets to us. So it does take a couple of weeks. First sunscreen I picked up is the Misha UV Cover Tone Up Sun Cushion SPF 50 plus PA with four pluses, anti-pollution shield safe block. Okay, <laughs> now you're like, didn't you just pick up a Misha cushion? Some yes, yes I did. And then I forgot that I had ordered this one. <laughs> but this one is different. Thankfully this one is different. It has different packaging. I have not started using this one. If you wanna know what I thought about the other Misha Sun, Sun Cushion Foundation, I'll leave that video linked down below. <laughs> Okay, oh. uh, so hopefully I'll have more success with this one. It is a sun cushion, so you get a little puff. It does, it is sealed, so I'm not gonna take the seal off, because I'm, I'm not ready to use it yet. <laughs> does come with a mirror. The other one I reviewed was a foundation slash sunscreen, and this one is foundation free. On the website, this is 19 US dollars, but I am 100% certain I did not pay that. They are constantly running sales on stuff. Also, I have a referral link, coupon code for you. I'll leave that for you here. Major ingredients, first ingredient is water, followed by zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. It does have fragrance risk listed at the very end of the ingredient list. And this is supposed to have a matte second skin finish, which I'm very excited about. That's right up my alley. And I know a lot of you are also looking for a matte one. Suitable for acne prone skin, provides hydration because it says it has 50% water, reef safe, and reduces the skin from absorbing fine dust. I don't know what that means. Our skin absorbs fine dust. I did not know that. I'm excited. The second sunscreen I got, yes, I opened the package because I wanted to see what it looked like. <laughs> this is the Beauty of Josen, which everyone has been talking about. So I picked up the matte sun stick because I like a matte finish. This is currently $14.40, 20% off on the Yes Style website. It does contain silica powder, so it will soak up excess oils and sweat. Contains mugwort. Sika and green tea extracts, which moisturize, nourish, and soothe the skin. But thankfully that Sika, it does not turn it green. <laughs> Cause I was, I was worried about that. It, well, okay, it is slightly green. I lied. It is slight, it's more of like a yellowish green. Uh-oh, did I already break it? It doesn't, I can't smell a scent. Can you even see the lights are so bright in here? See, it's like a yellowy pill yellowy green. I have not, I've not tried this yet. So that is on my list to try. I'm super excited for a matte finish. This does contain all chemical UV filters. I also picked up a mini <laughs> trial size of the Beauty of Josen sunscreen. This is Relief Sun Mini. I paid, okay, it says I paid $6 for this. Did I? 
did I pay six dollars? I hope I used an additional dis discount because this is the <laughs> Sean. This is too small for for six dollars. Okay, but I wanted a sample and I didn't know if I wanted the whole the whole sunscreen. But now I feel stupid because how many fluid ounces? I mean, that's not a lot. <laughs> and it actually says not for sale on the back. That's poopy. <laughs> Moving on, it's SPF 50, PA++++, uh, rice and probiotics. It's an all chemical sunscreen, which is probably why I got the mini size, with niacinamide, and it's supposed to leave your skin glowing, which is probably another reason why I got the mini size. It does not have oxybenzone, octanoxate, and no animal-derived ingredients. It's suitable for sensitive skin. So I will let you know what I think, because I'm pretty sure some of you really love this. So I will give you an update. Okay, I also picked this one up because it was 50% off and it's still 55% off on the website for $10.35. Axis Y Complete No Stress Physical Sunscreen. And I don't remember why I picked this up. Except it's a physical sunscreen, zinc oxide, titanium oxide. Oh, it leaves a matte finish. That's why I picked it up. Lightweight lotion texture infused with green tea extract and squalane, squalane, squ squalane, squalane. All right, and I have not opened this one to smell it. It does come sealed, so we'll wait. We'll wait to be surprised when I do a full review of this one. Let me know which of these sunscreens you most want me to try out first to give a review on. Let me know in the comment section down below. Okay, moving on, let's talk about jewelry real quick, then we'll talk about a hair products I got and then another skincare product. Okay, so the first one, cause I'm really excited about this one. Look how beautiful this is. I really want this in actual sterling silver. It says it's sterling silver, it's not. It's, an, it's like an alloy. It's very lightweight, it's very cheaply made, but I hope you can see the sparkle. I, I hope you can see the sparkle. It's beautiful, but the clasp in the back, it, it the way it's constructed is not great. So I will enjoy it for the small time that I'm sure it will last. It's only $3. So it's like a rope chain. I and it's got crystals and it's so super sparkly. I, I would not normally wear it with this V-neck. I'd wear it, with, it looks really good with a crew neck <laughs> to be honest for church. So pretty and dainty. I also picked up these earrings, which I don't recommend you get. Do not get these, don't get these. Um, they say they're sterling silver. They are not. They're, they're silver colored, but they're definitely an alloy as well. And they're supposed to be little rain clouds with rain droplets. Um, they come with no backings, like no way to safely, once you put it through your ear, there's no back, earring back. And then this one, I cannot get it from unwrapped. The chain is actually stuck on the earring post and I've tried bending the chain, I cannot get it off. So it's completely, they're completely unwearable for me. How much did I pay for these? <laughs> okay, these were $4.30, so don't, don't get these. I also picked up this eyeliner slash eyebrow brush <laughs> because I wanted to be able to do, when we moved last, I lost, I had one. I lost it, I wanted to be able to do tiny, tiny little baby wings <laughs> with my eyeliner. This is perfect. I've used it once already. It drew a super tiny, perfect little line in the corner of my eyes. It was great I to go over around on my lash line. It's super soft, but also stiff enough to keep that line straight. Absolutely love it. And I paid $2.90, so less than $3 for this little brush. If I didn't mention it, I will leave everything linked down below. Highly recommend this. I mean, this is fantastic. It's lightweight, but it feels like it's made really well. Do you guys watch the Welsh Brothers? <laughs> and they always have those pink things that hold their hair back from their face. <laughs> I bought one. And it's like, it's like one side of Velcro. Um, I don't know how to, but you can put it, I don't know. <laughs> There's never, theirs are always like shown flat up against their head. And these always stick up. I've tried it once. And then you have to be very careful when you pull it out of your hair because it will mess up your hair. Um, yeah, I picked up these because I, I always see them wearing it and they influence me to purchase. These are called the Lazy Corner Peel Off Hair Pads. And it was $3.20. So 
So, I mean, this is probably worth less than a dollar. Do you guys use these? Let me know. Okay, I have tried this one. This is the Cause RX Ultimate Nourishing Rice Overnight Spa Mask. <laughs> because I've been wanting something luxurious and thick and creamy to hydrate my skin while I'm sleeping. This is not that. <laughs> It's nice, but it's not what I was expecting. Um, nourishing, yes. It's very nourishing. It's fragrance free, but it's very lightweight. So if you're looking for that heavy, thick cream that's gonna make your face feel hydrated in the morning, there's a hair. This I, is not it, but if you're looking for something lightweight that just feels a little cooling on your face, that does nourish your skin, it will feel slightly sticky throughout the night, but it's not too bad it's not like super sticky and then you just wash off in the morning it's good for that would i repurchase this now this was around 12 dollars. it does have a very short list of ingredients and some really great ingredients like rice extract glycerin niacinamide sunflower seed oil dimethicone and it does have palm oil which i don't know what that does i don't i don't know what that does. i am not an ingredients expert <laughs> i am learning about ingredients learning <laughs> one more thing to show you well it's two things but it's one i don't know why i got these because i purchased these and then sephora had their sale and i stocked up on the orbe shampoo and conditioner and i forgot i had purchased these it had good reviews and it said it made your hair smell really nice and it was good for color treated hair this is the july 7 no jewel 7 me jewel jewel 7 me blackberry perfume hair treatment um, I got the con shampoo and conditioner. It comes very well sealed up. So I opened this one to see if I like the scent of it. It does smell very nice. It does. It smells like flowers and berries, but I'm not going to use this until I run out of the other one or I might switch back and forth. I know I did not pay this amount for it. I don't know how to look to see how much I actually paid, but online they are um, the conditioner is $26 and the shampoo is 28, but you get a lot. These are, how many ounces are these? Yeah, you get a lot. These are 500 milliliter bottles. I don't think that's bad for shampoo. I mean, I just spent a lot more on Aura Bay. <laughs> if you want an update on these, let me know. I might just include them in a sunscreen video and just give you a give you an update when I use them. So, do you guys shop at Yes Style? Let me know. Today is a great day to wear a sunscreen and I can't wait to try the four new ones that I just purchased. <laughs>